Welcome back, everyone. Today we will be talking about two steps to write a problem statement. After you've selected a research challenge for your project, the next stage is to compose a problem statement. So let's get going to two easy steps to write a problem statement. A good problem statement is short and to the point. It should set the scene for the problem, what do we already know? Describe the specific problem that the study will address, what information do we need to know? Demonstrate the problem's importance, why do we need to know about it? When is it appropriate to write a problem statement? You may be required to compose a problem statement in a variety of circumstances. Writing a problem statement is a key stage in improvement programs in corporations and other organizations. Finding and executing successful solutions requires a properly defined and well understood problem. The problem statement is normally a separate document in this scenario. Writing a problem statement can help you contextualize and appreciate the significance of your research problem in academic research. A problem statement can be several pages lengthy and serve as the foundation for your research proposal, or it can be as short as a few phrases in the beginning to your paper or thesis. Depending on whether you're working with a practical real-world problem or a theoretical scientific one, the problem statement will be different. However, all problem statements go through the same procedure. Following are the two steps. Step 1, put the issue into context. The problem statement should set the context for your research problem and provide some background on what is already known about it. Problems in the field of research focus on the specifics of the situation when conducting practical research, when and where does the issue occur? Who is affected by the issue? Have there been any attempts to remedy the problem? Problems in theoretical research consider the scientific, social, geographical, and slash or historical context when conducting theoretical research, what is currently known about the issue? Is the issue confined to a specific historical period or geographic region? In the scholarly literature, how has the problem been characterized and debated? Step 2, explain why it's important. The relevance of the research should also be addressed in the problem statement, why is it vital to tackle the problem? This does not imply that you must achieve something revolutionary or world-changing. The challenge must be researchable, viable, and clearly address a relevant issue in your field. Problems in the field of research Practical research is focused on a specific issue that impacts a company, institution, social group, or society as a whole. You can ask yourself the following questions to clarify why your research problem is important, what happens if the issue isn't resolved? Who will bear the brunt of the consequences? Does the issue have broader implications? Example Are there similar difficulties in other contexts? Problems in theoretical research Theoretical difficulties can have evident practical implications in some cases, but their significance in other cases is less obvious. Ask yourself, how will fixing the problem increase understanding of the topic, to figure out why the problem is important? What advantages will it offer in terms of future research? Is there a direct or indirect societal impact on the problem? So here, you have two basic, important, and easy steps to write those research problems of yours. Hope this was a useful video for you. Stay tuned to Research Graduate to get more such videos. Till then happy research. Also if you have any of the PhD and Masters related service requirements, head straight to our website www.researchgraduate.com see the description for more contact details.